Welcome to the Smiles Are Wild channel brought to you by Pediatric Dental Associates and Orthodontics. My name is Amy Morgan. We will be bringing you fun and educational videos weekly to help you take better care of your child's oral health care needs at home and on the go. Make sure to subscribe and turn on notifications to see all of our new videos. And remember, it doesn't really matter how you take care of your teeth as long as you take care of them from the beginning. Hi everyone, my name is Amy Morgan. I'm the marketing coordinator here for Pediatric Dental Associates and Orthodontics. I wanna thank you for joining us today. We will be covering three easy steps that you can use to be more prepared for your upcoming dental appointments. Here at PDAO, we know that parents are busy and that getting their kids to the dental office um, can be a priority, but it can also be time consuming. So we wanna make sure that you have the information that you need so that when you walk in our door, we can help make that appointment go as efficiently as, efficiently as possible. Um, number one on our list is to arrive at least 15 minutes early. That is one of the number one things you can do. We understand that 15 minutes in some cases can't be done, but if you can strive to be at a 3.30 appointment at 3.15, then that will allow enough time for you to get out of the car, into the building, get checked in, update your children's paperwork, and provide any additional information or changes that are needed to your account. Um, this tends to kind of throw a little bit of parents off on this because you're walking in the door at your appointment time and then having to do all those things, which can take 10 to 15 minutes. So if you just take the extra steps to arrive about 15 minutes early, that will help us to stay on schedule and get your child seen as quick as possible. Um, one of the appointments that um, does not need an update or anything like that is normally most orthodontic checks don't need that information. Um, so you don't necessarily have to arrive early for those types of appointments. But most other appointments within our practice, that would be any kind of um, checkup, any kind of emergency appointment, any kind of treatment appointment. There may be additional information that's needed to get that appointment started, okay? So first, number one tip is to arrive 15 minutes early. Number two is to go ahead and have your paperwork filled out online. So we have a portal on our website. If you go to smilesorwild.com, you can actually click the My Account button and this will take you to a login screen. Every single family, every single account within our practice has access to this portal. Now, if you've never used this before, you may have to call us to get your login information and get your password stuff set up, but it is available to any and all parents whose children are seen within our practice. Um, we find this tool to be very easy to use. Um, you can, most pa new patients that have been coming over the last year or so, we've really tried to push that out um, and have them be using that. But if you're an established patient that's been coming for years, you're used to coming in the building and then filling out the update. But those quick things can actually be done online prior to your appointment. There is a little bit of discrepancy there in that you cannot do it way ahead of time. So if you're in the office and you're checking out and you schedule a six month checkup, you can't go online and do the paperwork right then. You can only do it within about 28 days of the upcoming appointment. So there's about a four week window there where you can get things filled out. And that is kind of a safety measure for us. That allows us to have the most accurate medical information and also allows you to provide any and all information that is the most current, okay? So um, again, you can do that online. Um, once this video is completed, then I'll put the um, link to our portal in the comments. And if you have any questions about the portal or anything like that, feel free to comment and let us know. And you can also call our office and we'll help you get set up with that. Um, all paperwork can be updated, as I said, two to three weeks prior to the upcoming appointment. However, if that appointment is rescheduled or changed for any reason, then new updates may be required. So if your child has an appointment in the next couple weeks and you go online today and you fill out the paperwork and you get everything updated and then something comes up, spring break, testing, anything like that, and you schedule it out to May or June, you are gonna have to go online and redo that paperwork and that's just because we have kind of a cutoff of saying we want the most accurate information and we feel like within about 28 days of the dental appointment is a good number for that. We don't do 30 just because February only has 28 days, so we picked 28. All right, um, the next thing that you can do, and this is what I consider probably 
if not the most important, it's at least second maybe, um, is to bring your insurance information with you to every single appointment. Um, this is even if you're an existing patient that's been coming for years, um, just keep that dental information with you at all times. Consider it like a medical insurance card. Um, we do know some employers do not offer cards for that and we completely understand that, um, but we will need to ask for some information. So if mom or dad work for Walmart, let's say dad works for Walmart, if mom brings them to the appointment, then mom needs to know that dad is considered the subscriber or the employer or the employee, I'm sorry, for the employer. So if we say that we need dad's information, it's because he's the one that holds the insurance. And then some of the things that we may ask for in that situation would be a social security number, a date of birth, and the employer's name. So in this case, it would be Walmart. Um, I don't think there's usually additional information needed. Sometimes insurance companies wanna verify the home address and um, sometimes dates of births can be mixed up and things like that. So if we ask more than once, that's why. Um, also make sure any young children you have who are three years old, two years old, one years old, that you're going ahead and getting them added to your dental insurance at age one, because that's when we wanna start seeing them. So if you've just had a newborn, you know, mark your calendars to know that their one year checkup, their one year birthday, they're gonna need a dental checkup. So go ahead and start processing that dental insurance for them on the next open enrollment with your employer. Now, we do offer all of our insurance information that we gather is offered as a courtesy to you as the parent. We wanna to try to get the most accurate information that we can so that if it goes beyond just a normal cleaning that may be covered at 100%, but your child ends up having a cavity, we would already have that information downloaded into our practice management system for you so that when you check out, we can give you a fairly accurate estimate on what the upcoming cost would be to fix the cavity. Um, so we, again, we try to stay as up to date as possible this time of year from January, pretty much through April, May, um, the first six months almost of the year, employers are have changed their insurance in January, but maybe you didn't come until April and you know that it changed, but it's not really clicking that you haven't given it to us yet because you're not understanding that you haven't been in in the last six months, so we don't have that information. So if you can just keep your insurance information on you at all times, then that would be best. And it is, like I said, probably the number one thing you can do to make your appointment go more smoothly. Um, we do accept a number of insurances that are considered in network, which means that we are a provider for them, which means that if you have that type of insurance, then there's a discount offered. We also accept out of network insurances. Um, we will file them, okay? So there's a difference between an in network and an out of network insurance. In network for us is going to be any our kids, Medicaid, Tefra, Delta Dental Smiles, MCNA, most Delta Dental plans, most Blue Cross Blue Shield plans and most Cigna plans, okay? That's a lot, that's a big list, but if you believe it or not, there are many more that we are not considered, quote, in network with. That does not mean that we will not file them for you. We will file most any insurance provided that we have the capability to do that. We use electronic claims filing, which most insurances these days take those. We can also mail some of them in. I think there's very little percentage anymore that we can't file or at least attempt to file for you. So in saying that, if you're watching this video and you do not have any of the insurances that I just listed, let's say for example, you have Aetna or you have MetLife. What we want you to understand is just because we're not in network with your plan. So if you work for the pharmacy up the street and they carry MetLife insurance for their employees, you can still come to us as out of network and you still may not have an out of pocket fee. Most insurances in the cases that we've seen will pay a pediatric dentist a higher rate. So you, you're sometimes gonna get that 100% regardless if we're in network or out of network. That being said, it does not apply to all insurances. So let us look that up for you. Let us call and check your benefits. If you have friends and family who have that same insurance, you can ask them how they're paying. Um, again, we keep two insurance coordinators on staff at all times. Um, I, we have two on staff, but there are a plethora of other people that know how to look up your insurance and find that information out. 
And we do that because we want to be able to provide that service for you. So it's very important for us that we try to educate you on what's going on with your dental insurance in order that, so that we can provide the most accurate information so that when it comes time for a payment or anything like that, then you understand completely um, where all that information came from. Um, again, you know, these small steps will really help to make your dental appointments go much quicker, especially if you have multiple kids. So if you have three, four, and five children, you know, knowing that you need to arrive early, you know, I would even add on an extra five minutes per child. So if you have over like three kids, maybe you have four kids, let's arrive 20 minutes early. Let's allow about five minutes per child um, for the arrival time. Um, and again, that is just to help us stay on time. In saying that, I do want to reiterate something. We have here at PDAO what I consider a philosophy or a theory known as kids time. And what that means is that we operate on based on the child's cooperation. So if your appointment is at 3.30 p.m. and there was another child in at three and that child had a tough time getting their x-rays or they weren't cooperating for the cleaning, then their appointment may have gone about five to 10 minutes into your appointment. And we just want you to know that no matter how long we spent with child number, with child A, that your child, child B, is gonna get the same grace and the same flexibility for their appointment as well. We're not gonna rush you through because we took too long with you know child A. We wanna make sure that we are providing a good environment for these children so that they're not scared, so that they understand that the things that they're doing are not going to hurt them. And, you know, best of all, we want to make sure they're seeing the dentist every six months. So we try to keep them as comfortable as possible. And sometimes that means going into the time frame of another appointment. We strive to stay on time. It is our, you know, one of our major goals is to make sure that we respect parents' time and that we stay on time with our appointments. However, in operating under that philosophy or theory of kids' time, sometimes that may not be allowed. So should the need arise and your child needs the same, you know, flexibility in their appointment time, just know that we will provide that. Um, I want to thank you all for joining us today. Um, if you want to go ahead and this information, you want to share this information with your friends or family, then please do so. We would love to have you share this. Um, you can also go ahead and like us on our Facebook page and you can follow us on Instagram at Smiles or Wild. And you can also check out our blog on our website, which is smilesorwild.com. Thanks again.